Good morning, everyone. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. Okay. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to our live shows. Thinking with the Chang's find the difference. This is Roy. Nice to meet you. Hi, everyone. I'm Vincent. This is our South America uh, channel on YouTube. We are here to share information uh, of feed, breeding, animal feed, uh, animal health, and animal welfare. Welcome to talk with us, and uh, do not forget to subscribe our channel. Today, we are going to share with you how to save feed cost of beef cattle breeding uh, during uh, pandemic, mm-hmm. and uh, how to increase the pro, uh, beef production safe yes. and quickly mm-hmm. uh, since the global beef production decreases mm-hmm. and the price rises during the tough time. Ah, yes, sounds very great. And uh, don't miss the following information. And uh, Vincent, what kind of food do you like to eat? Yeah, to be honest, uh, every delicious food I'd like to try. Yeah, just like me. <laughs> yeah. uh, but beef uh, is the preferred one. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, you know, uh, now the price in China is too expensive, mm-hmm. so I'm not able to have this delicious meal every day. Yes, exactly. It's because the beef cattle's farming time is quite long. Actually, uh, take, we take the examples yeah. in Argentina. Yeah. Uh, the beef cattle is divided by the two steps. Two step. period two actually. Period, yeah. It's the first from both to the eighteen months. It's called the the first period. It's like the eighteen months. Eighteen months. Yes. After that, it's uh, it's not be can, cannot be sold yet. It mm-hmm. must wait for the another ninety days. It's called the fattening period, oh, and uh, make the beef cattle, uh, you know, make more it more fat. Mm-hmm. And uh, like the ninety days is up after it can meet the four hundred and fifty kilometers standards, uh, and after that the beef cattle are ready to sell. So long story short, even mm-hmm. um, from the starborn to the slaughters, mm-hmm. we need to wait about like the twenty two months, like the twenty two years. Two years. Yes, exactly. Oh my God. I, I know, uh, as my knowledge, you know, I, I think, uh, I know just to read uh, beef cattle, uh, mm-hmm. it will take a uh, long time, but uh, mm-hmm. I didn't expect it to be so long. So <laughs> now, <laughs> I mean, I said, why the price is so expensive now? Yes, like the two years, uh, as I mentioned, is, is two years is like everything going in Wales. Mm-hmm. If we got some disease, yeah. Some like the bacterials and uh, we know every country's got the policy changed mm-hmm. and yeah. the other problem and like the COVID nineteen is like the um, the farmers will be get the big huge loss. Huge loss. So yes. that means uh, two years of hard work, mm-hmm. but it feels like uh, gambling. Uh from somehow, yes, that's correct. Oh, yeah. Uh, we know um, we know that uh, broilers can grow fast and mm-hmm. uh, quickly, and uh, mm-hmm. it can be uh, sold within thirty five to forty two days. Yes. Uh, so I have a question: Why the uh, beef cattle cannot be like this? Uh, yes, actually, the speak of broilers, sometimes the broilers to yeah. use some feed additives to accelerate their growth performance. Yeah, yeah, wait, 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 wait. Uh-huh. I, I, you, you know, we're talking. Here we are talking <laughs> yeah. about beef cattle, okay. so. Uh, I want to make uh, uh, make it clear why the beef mm-hmm. cattle cannot uh, uh, grow fast like the broiler. Yes, actually, yes, we can. We had uh, sometimes, you know, is uh, you know we have the two period of mm-hmm. the beef beef cattle farming. Yeah. In the second uh, second period, the we call the fattening period. We can use some feed additives for the beef cattle to make it grow it faster. Feed additives. Yes, feed additives. Uh, won't it be harmful? Well, <laughs> it's not really take the easy dude. Actually, it's like the vitamins. Did you eat vitamins? Vitamin C, vitamin D3? Yeah, when uh, uh-huh. the, you know the body uh, healthy, the unhealthy status, 
yeah, we maybe we maybe need to uh, supplement the vitamins or any other thing. Ah, uh, yes, like like just like you, the cattle also need some like the vitamins yeah. or some some feed additives to support its own growth performance. Okay. Yes. So obviously, it's uh, no more uh, feed additives in the market that cannot uh, promote the growth performance of beef cattle. Otherwise, mm. I won't be able to <laughs> <laughs> afford the, you know, the beef, the beef. Mm -hmm. yeah, you know. So, mm. uh, if there is one uh, feed additive that can promote the beef cattle growth performance, mm -hmm. uh, mm, you know, uh, effectively or no quickly, I think mm. that will be uh, great. Right. Yeah. Yes, actually, it have one uh, product to to increase the very quickly really? of the growth performance. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Uh, it's called the Runios. Uh, we have done the experiment on the chili, which can increase like in the, during the same time. Yeah. Uh, twenty three percent of growth performance. Twenty three percent. Yes. Yeah, exactly. that's that's amazing. So yeah. Uh, could you uh, make an explanation of mm -hmm. this product? Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. I will do experiments. What is Runio? What is yeah. Runio? Yeah, I will show you a little PowerPoint about it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bioacid and 70% starch. The, what it, you may ask, what is bioacid? Bioacid is a main activity ingredient of the bio. It's secret by the laborers. So it's like the is a it is a series of the sterols production in the process of of castrols, the metabolism in the animal's bodies, and it have the multi uh, multi biological activities. And the bio acid have the two main functions: protect liver and intestine health, and also very important improve mm -hmm. the fat digestions and absorptions. Okay. Thanks for the mission. Uh, information sounds great, but uh, mm -hmm. you know, uh, as a beef lover, I have mm -hmm. to ask: Is it safe? Yes. Yeah, yeah you mm -hmm. know, uh, I don't want to take too much chemicals <laughs> or, or <laughs> antibiotics in my body. I <laughs> think uh, uh, majority uh, beef cattle breeders also concern the uh, safety. Yes, yeah. exactly. It's it's hundred percent of the safe product. I can understand your yeah. yeah I can understand your concerns. Yeah, Actually, yeah, yeah. it's Runio is a hundred percent of the very safety product. Okay. Yes. Right. I can hundred percent guarantee it for you. <laughs> okay. Right. Uh, so, uh, explain. Uh, could you uh, also explain the why it is safe? You know, uh, the other products in the uh, market. What? Explain it the safety. Ah yes, yeah. for the for example, it's from the, it's actually from this the flow chart. I will show you. This uh, I I know is some you you may mm -hmm. you may uh, confused with the runion with some like the animal ingredient product, yeah, yeah, like yeah. the fish, like the fish meals. But that's this two product product is quite different. For the runions. And um, it's we got the cholic acid, and after the after several steps, like the crystalliz crystallizations, uh, acid acidifications, and uh, purifications, and after this few steps, and uh, makes the ninety nine percent pure bio acid powders, and make it. Make uh, mix it with the starch and become two runions. And during these few steps, and no uh, this heavy metal residues and uh, any bacteria will be inside. It's a pure product. And also, I know your concern. Mm -hmm. We have tested our product twice a year in the well known. In test institutes in the world like the Pony, like the SGS, make sure our product is safe and efficient. Okay. Okay. Thanks for uh, thanks for the information. Uh, I I think uh, uh, I may uh, get the point. Yes, actually, it's uh, uh, actually, you know, it's our recipes of uh -huh. this kind of product and our production lines. 
have also have the patent numbers patent, patent on this. So it which means we have we are the only legal manufacturers of the bioacid in China. I think it also is the very big, biggest in the world. Only legal one in China. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, that that's great. Mm -hmm. So uh, how it works on beef cattle? How it works on beef cattle? Yeah. Actually, you know, it's like I was mentioned. Mm -hmm. The bio acid, the renew have the three step, uh, have the two main functions. The first one is have the fat digestions and absorptions. I would like to show you the videos to introduce to you. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. In modern breeding industry, fat or oil content become more and more high in feed formulation. However, it's complicated process for fat digestion with three steps, emulsification, digestion, and absorption. Different with emulsifiers, bioacids play an important role in the whole steps. Emulsification. Bioacids have a special structure by which combined with hydrophilic elements and lipophilic elements. One of them can fix in water and another one will insert into the fat. Under this way, fat can be emulsified into little droplets, which will help the enlarged contact areas with lipase. Digestion. The suitable pH value for lipase is 8 to 9. But the pH value in the intestine is 6 to 7. Lipase doesn't work under this condition. The lipase can be activated by bile acids. When they combine together, as bile acids can open as cap and release the catalyzed elements. In the meanwhile, the structure of lipase is also changed, which can let fat droplets contact with catalytes. Under this way, fat would be hydrolyzed into fatty acids glycerinum and monoglycerite. Absorption Short-chain fatty acid would be absorbed directly, while long-chain fatty acid can only be absorbed after combining into chlorimicron with bile acids and a phospholipid. As one carrier, bioacids can help fatty acids get through the identification system of intestine epithelial cell and then pass into bloodstream in order to finish the absorption process. Yes, after this video, yeah. you may know how the bioacid works. And yes. uh, also, I think is people may ask why we need the bioacid because it's some bioacid in the bodies, in yeah. your bodies. It's back to, you know, it's after this kind of bioacid, it's combined with the fat acid to enter the small intestine cells, it will back to the livers and for the another circles. But during these circles, every circle, we will mm -hmm. lose the 5% of bioacid. 5%? Yes, exactly. If we want the Beef cattle grow fast, they also add some more fat inside. So, which means it's not enough the bio acid for itself. So, this is two reasons to get the we need to add extra bio acid in the feed. So, uh, great information. So, so bio acid uh, is used to assist the uh, of, uh, emulsification. Digestion and uh, absorption, absorption yes. so that to uh, comprehensively uh, promote the, improve the utilization of fat. Yes, and, exactly. Yeah, and uh, improve the growth performance of beef cattle. Yes, exactly. And after that, you uh, as we uh, as we said, mm -hmm. and the it have two main functions. Yeah. And other functions is protect the liver and the intestine health. And when the bio acid back to the liver, it will promote the liver to secrete the thin bio acid to wash out like the some like the microtoxins, endotoxins and uh, some antibiotics, raw uh, heavy material, uh, heavy uh, heavy material residues 
to wash out this kind of harmful substances mm -hmm. out to the animal bodies to keep your animals healthy. Okay, so uh, that is to say, besides the uh, you know uh, um, maxi, uh, maximum the fatty utilization mm -hmm. and also uh, protect the liver and the intestine health mm -hmm. uh, from both point yes. to protect the uh, uh, beef cattle health and uh, uh, promote the Feroz performance. Feroz performance. Yes, okay. that's right. Yeah. So, you know, but uh, uh, as my knowledge. Mm -hmm. Beef cattle is uh, ruminant. Yes, uh, it, it has uh, four stomachs. Mm -hmm. I, I have a uh, comparison. Is really work in them? Yes, nice questions. Mm -hmm. I will show you a uh, PowerPoint to explain to you how the our product to work. Okay. Yes, we know the 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 ruminants have the four stomachs. First is uh, uh, rumens, and uh, the food after intake in the, the animal's bodies. First, we are back to the rumens and uh, the wrestling uh, them and the omasum and the uh, abomasum and uh, then back to the oral again and uh, after it chew again and uh, doing the an another circles. Mm -hmm. And also we have no as the rumens, the first stomachs have the many many the micrograms to break out the feed into the energies. That's why some feed additives need to be coated and then used in the beef cattles. But for the Runeo, it's different. We have done the experiment on the universities and uh, even after 24 hours, the content of bio acid still left like the 85%. So which means can the bio acid can to smooth go to the intestines, animal intestines, and work in there? Okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, uh, going to uh, this point, I, I can say I'm clear, mm -hmm. clearly on renew now. Mm -hmm. But uh, all the contents, you know, uh, mm -hmm. you are said by you. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> why not let the, uh, the customer talk about it? You know, if I was a uh, farmer or customers, mm -hmm. I'd like to hear the feedback uh, from those who have used your product mm -hmm. and uh, uh, to share the effect mm -hmm. of it. Is that yes. possible? Yes, of course. And uh, actually, we have the, um, before a few days, mm -hmm. my colleague have the online meetings with our agents, uh, cattle agents in the United States. And uh, he just recently just uh, doing the experiments on the beef cattle. He have some suggestions and how the bio acid works to strengthen us. Maybe we can sh I can show you to on these videos. Okay, it's fantastic opportunity to discuss with you for uh, through this online meeting. Uh, firstly, let me briefly introduce uh, Dr. David Casper. Uh, used to work as the uh, professor of uh, South Dakota State University and uh, has uh, worked with world famous uh, companies such as Cargill and uh, MKNES and uh, he has his own company, Casper's Copyrights. Dr. David Casper has a rich experience in uh, ruminant academic research and uh, market. Uh, today our topic is about the uh, growth of calves. I believe it is a, um, a great concern issue for companies and farms uh, that uh, raise calves. Uh, so that Dr. David Casper, uh, could, uh, could you uh, share your suggestions on promoting the growth of calves? Yeah, yes. So we want calves on our farms to double their body weight from birth by 60 days of age. So by the time the calf is 60 days old, we want it to double its birth weight. And so our programs need to be set up to ensure that that happens. Mm -hmm. Both from the standpoint of high quality milk replacers or high quality pasteurized milk that would be available on the farm 
to get that calf off to a fast start with no health challenges so that it can gain body weight to double its weight in 60 days. Mm -hmm. um, is there any suggestion about the, um, uh, managing? Management? Yes, well, of course, we, when the calf is born, we want to make sure that it gets like a gallon of colostrum from its mother because mm -hmm. that colostrum is very high in immune globulins and those immune globulins are what will provide immunity to diseases and pathogens in the baby calf. And that colostrum needs to be fed preferably within the first eight to 12 hours, but definitely the absorption of immune globulin ceases by 24 hours of age. So the more colostrum you can get into the calf at a, it within the first few hours of birth, will be a big advantage to that calf. For example, calves that do not get colostrum have a 75% chance of dying due to diseases from uh, typical pathogens like E. coli, salmonella, and clostridia. So getting the colostrum into the calf is very, very important to getting that calf off to a fast start with no health challenges. Okay, thank you, Dr. Kasper. Uh, for the nutrients uh, for the calves, uh, we usually uh, add some uh, feed additive to the uh, uh, calves. Uh, could you share your suggestions about the feed, some uh, feed additives such as uh, and, uh, uh, animal acids and uh, uh, minerals? Yeah, so the, the milk replacer that we currently use or I've developed is a 2220, which is 22% crude protein, 20% fat, and it but it has the amino acid level of actually a 24% protein. So by the use of synthetic amino acids like methionine, lysine, threonine, valine, tryptophan, we raise the amino acid levels up to a 24 but we let the crude protein come down to 22, which actually makes a better amino acid energy balanced milk replacer for the calf. Mm -hmm. And this milk replacer is more, in my opinion, more properly balanced for protein and energy so that we drive frame growth in the calf from day one. And so one of the things I'm very proud of my program is, is that I get very good frame growth in these young newborn calves because it is the most economical time to put frame growth into this calf. So then later on, we can add more of a uh, weight from the standpoint of muscle in other development aspects of the calf. Okay, I see, thank you. Uh, is there uh, any other feed additive uh, to to promote the growth and feed intake, uh, or you, you try the in your ranch? So yes, uh, typical feed additives that we might use would be along the line of essential oils, because they have basically antibiotic-like activities, but they are not antibiotics. So our government today limits our use of antibiotics like oxytetracycline, neomycin, uh, penicillin. So essential oils, and the one I've worked with the most is oregano, is a very good antibiotic replacement or substitute for antibiotics. And so that is one of the additives that we rely on heavily to help maintain intestinal health. Uh, we also do feed what you would call direct fed microbial. So we will feed some live bacteria in the milk replacer as well. And then along comes the bile salts that we just did the research trial on to aid in fat digestion or energy absorption by the calf. Mm -hmm. And this is where our study in the very early part showed when we were dealing with cold stress that we've seen the calves fed bile salts maintain and even put on body weight, whereas the animals that were on the control levels 
lost weight. So they, so the calves fed the bile salts are getting more energy out of the milk replacer that they were consuming, which allowed them to have more energy to deal with the cold stress. Okay, Dr. David Kessler, uh, thank you for your uh, suggestions. Uh, okay, quite long video, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Welcome back. So thanks to the Dr. Kessler's explain, this is really wonderful. Mm -hmm. He share uh, sharing a lot of uh, great knowledge. Yes. Yeah, I think uh, the renew uh, is really helpful to uh, to, do, to the doctor, and uh, it is really helpful for the uh, performance. Group performance and uh, a really uh, nice product for the beef uh, far, uh, beef cattle farmers. Yes, yeah. exactly. And if you have any question, and please leave your comments and the contact information in the content area. We will answer you as soon as possible. Yes, if you are interested in the product, you can connect with us and uh, over here, uh, connect with this uh, email address and uh, we have the agents in the 30, more than 30 countries can directly to improve the product. Okay, if you, uh, of course, you can also leave a message directly in the comment area. We will take time to answer the, your question in the next live show. We will be your most effective consultant uh, in breeding. Of course, they are free. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hoping the information uh, we share today can be helpful to okay, you. Yes. Uh, thank you all for your uh, watching and uh, accompanying. Yeah. Together with us to make your breathing no, no longer, longer difficult. difficult. Yeah. yeah. Uh, think with the chance. Find, find the difference. difference. We will see you next time. Bye. Bye.